So, uh, so hello guys and uh, welcome to uh, this video. So uh, basically uh, what I'm doing today is I've basically started a new series, right, um, on Football uh, Manager. You might not uh, know it, it's, um, it's basically uh, one of the best football games in the world, basically. Um, it's so realistic. Transfers are so realistic. Um, and I just thought I would uh, take you through my series as part of a wee, of a wee video to just uh, uh, to give you an insight of what I do and stuff. So, uh, I'm just trying to think if there's anything in, anything that I can show you. Um, so basically, um, I'll go on to tactics first. Aye, because that will give you a good shot of that. So basically, this is the squad I play. Um, I don't actually play Verratti on the right, obviously. Obviously, he's a central player. Some of you might not know that, but he is. Uh, and uh, sorry if the camera uh, goes a bit uh, weird. It's just that I'm holding it uh, one-handed. Um... I'm holding him, I'm, uh, my mouse in the other, so Pastore needs to go out, so I need to bring on Verratti. So this is basically the squad that I play, uh, and obviously it's with a, a PSG, as you can see somewhere. You can see up there, uh, Paris Saint-Germain with Kieran uh, Marshall. I'll go back on to my tactics now. Uh, so that's the kind of squad that I play. So obviously um, they give you like uh, tactics before a match against a team. So I play against French teams because obviously uh, Paris Saint Germain are from France. Um, and just to give you the heads up, I'm being quiet because it is about three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, so I've got to be quiet. So uh, I'm not going to speak loud. Yeah, like I have done in my other videos because they were through the day. But anyway, scrap that. Um, so so this is basically my team. So we've got Arzabalaga in goal. Uh, you might not know him, but he's a Spanish under-21s uh, goalkeeper. Very good. Uh, he's not been so good in this series, though. Um, and we've got the, the experienced Danny Alves right back. Uh, We've got Marquinhos and we've got uh, Thiago Silva. If you're wondering what that orange line is there, then that's just basically the the pairing between them both, the centre backs. And then we've got uh, Kurzawa. And yeah, there's not much to say about him actually. Um, Draxler, who who moved from Schalke, Moussa Dembele, who I have signed uh, from Spurs. Very solid uh, midfielder. Verratti, um, obviously uh, folk would uh, know if they're football fans, they all uh, know who these players are. Lokelso, Neymar, who obviously they signed for about 100, like 400 million. And then Mbappe, who they signed for about 165. This is my bench. Uh, and then we've got Areola, uh, Mounier. Uh, Pastore, Dembele, Yuri, Angel Di Maria, and Edinson Cavani, and I'll go down. These are just all the. I want to say reserves, reserves ones. So um, <clears throat> trying to see if there's anything else I can show you. So these are basically the competitions that I'm in. Uh, so we've got the League One Conformia, and that's Conforma. Sorry for the bad uh, pronunciation. So this is basically the League in France. I got there in the end. <laughs> um, so basically, we're not doing very uh, well in the league just now. We've only got the one win. It's just basically because I've been playing all the wrong tactics and stuff. Um, <coughs> but it's it's okay. I've got it sorted and stuff. So, so that's the league. 
so ASM on a quarter top and then you can see all the way down sorry if I'm going like dead close into it I think there's only and then you've got the bottom three there and then for the cup uh, we won that um, against AS Monaco with Xavi Pastore getting the goal uh, we've got the Champions League which we enter the group stage on the 12th of the 9th 2017 and that's the one at the end that I've got to show you the draw for that so so look forward to that and then we enter the ninth round of the French Cup so that should be quite interesting so we've got two French Cups to play in so not too bad um, so transfers so we've got 73 million left from I think it's about 165 million but we have signed a few players, so we've signed obviously uh, Moussa Dembele from Tottenham for £29 million. We've signed Matthias De Litt. Uh, sorry if there's a light between the two names. <coughs> from Ajax for £21.5 million. we signed the young goalkeeper obviously, who was in the first squad there, for £45.5 million. And then we signed Moussa Dembele for £19.5 million. Uh, we were in for the likes of like Kante and everything, but, but, the, but they were just a bit too dear. But Dembele uh, uh, does the job. Um, and obviously we've got other better players as well. And then we've got Lucas Mora from Bayern for, for 22.5 million. And we've got Hatem Ben Arfa going to Toulouse on loan for 38.5 uh, per week and then basically this is all about the club so the year founded was 1970 so 47 years ago well 48 now uh, professional status obviously a world wide reputation rich finances obviously I've signed all these players <coughs> the European uh, competition as the Champions Cup uh, so obviously I'm the manager and then we've got the captain there which is Thiago Silva, vice captain uh, Thiago Mota and then key player which is obviously Neymar because he is basically the best player so, so he starts <coughs> I'm not going in depth into this save it'll take too long so and then these are the kits obviously you've got your red and uh, white the red and blue one out which are, are playing a lot yellow one and then we've got the black one I don't really like the yellow uh, one but I play in it anyway the board uh, job security so I'm quite near the end so that's quite good <coughs> ah, sorry guys I've got a bit of a tickly throat so this is basically view board uh, confidence in general so that's how much we've got to go until we're right along at the, at the other end and then that'll uh, mean that they're quite happy with us <coughs> <coughs> sorry <coughs> and then we've got finances obviously you saw that in the last uh, little edit 73 million with 3 million in the wage budget <coughs> Um, and then we've got reserves. So these are basically all the reserves. Uh, Krejciak is actually out on loan. And then Gongalo Guedes is as well. So these are basically all the players that are out on loan. So it's quite a lot. And a lot of these players don't even get played. But I can uh, call these up to the squad any time that I want. And so I can bring back Guedes if I, if I wanted to. I could bring back Krejciak. Like, <coughs> any uh, young players who they've said, aye, he's a pretty good player, should bring him into the team, I can obviously do that. And then the under-19s, uh, I can bring these into the, the team at any point I want to, as well. <coughs> so, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should show you. We got any injuries? Yeah, just the one for Christopher and Kunku. I uh, don't think there's anything else. So, for the main event, 
We've got the Champions League draw. I know it's called the Champions League uh, uh, Cup on here. But I like to call it the Champions League. <clears throat> so these are basically the pots. So we have Real Madrid, Juventus, Chelsea, Monaco. We've got Bayern, Benfica, Sh Sorry. <clears throat> Shakhtar and Spartak Moscow. And then we've got Barcelona, Atletico Madrid. And we could get any of the teams in, in pot one, eh? but eh, by the way, we can't get any of the teams in the second, so <clears throat> so we won't be able to get the, the likes of Man City, Man United, Dortmund, Atletico Madrid, Barcelona, so that's quite a good thing. Um, <clears throat> Sevilla, we've got Porto there, stuff like that, and then the third seed's Napoli, Tottenham. I'll just go through the Ones that stand out, Roma, Anderlecht, stuff like that. And for the fourth seeds, obviously, folk from Scotland who watch um, my videos. Oh no, Celtic. <coughs> so. And then we've got like Leipzig. So it's not focusing. Hoffenheim and that's basically it so <coughs> <coughs> sorry so we'll get on with the draw we'll do the first seeds first and then we'll see what group we get so draw next team Dortmund go with Benfica I'll be open for either <coughs> Spartak Moscow. I can't actually go on Ace Monaco's group because they're from the same uh, country as us. Or Shakhtar, maybe. If you can see that. Yep. Eh. Draw next team. Atletico Madrid. Barcelona. Man United. Porto. Sevilla. Man City. So we'll get Real Madrid. Brilliant, <clears throat> love it. And then we'll just skip through all the rest. So we've got Olympiacos as well. Celtic will get Benfica, Dortmund, and all that. If anybody's interested, so these are basically the groups. So I'll just go through them. <coughs> if you didn't see, so we've got. Dortmund, Benfica, Dynamo Kiev and Celtic. Sorry. Uh, we've got Atletico Madrid, Basel, Spartak Moscow and Leipzig. Barcelona, Chelsea, Napoli and Apple. Well, that's a good group. <coughs> we've got Man United, AS Monaco, Roma and Sporting. Juventus, Porto, Anderlecht and Hoffenheim. Shakhtar, Tottenham, Sevilla and R Rosenborg. In Group F, Group G is Bayern, Man City, Besiktas, and Bait. And finally, for Group H, Real Madrid, Us, Feyenoord, and Olympiacos. So, pretty good groups there. So, I'll just skip forward and see if we've got anything else. We have actually got a game, but I'll not be showing you that. It was just an in depth show. But Real Madrid and the PSG, geez, good group. <clears throat> so that's basically it, guys. Um, that's all I've got to show you. Um, so thank you for watching. Um, please do. Please do subscribe. Uh, please do like the video. Uh, and comment uh, down below any other signings as well. Um, <clears throat> any other signings for the transfer uh, window because I am on the 25th of August, which you can see there. It's only six days away until transfer deadline day. <clears throat> so if you've got any more signings, then uh, put them down in the comments down below. Like, subscribe, as I said. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. See you later.